Hey guys, welcome to another episode on my channel. So in one of my previous episodes, I showed you how to use pull up and pull down resistors. And now we are going to make uh, one step further and I'm going to show you how to use internal pull up resistor on uh, this microcontroller. And this particular micro microcontroller, uh, it's uh, ESP32 node MCU. And here you can see one switch. So what I actually want now, I'm going to connect uh, pin 22 of my microcontroller to a one pin or one side of this switch. And I'm going to connect pin 23 to another side of the switch. And in this case, I would write code uh, to send the uh, high from uh, pin 23, and then I would read input uh, from pin 22. So ideally, uh, when uh, this switch is in uh, open state, uh, we would read a low. And if I press this switch, we would read high. But as you know, this is far from perfect. Because in electronics, we are dealing with really small units. So uh, every stuck charge could produce wrong readings. One way to solve this problem would be to add one resistor. Let me show you. From reading pin on switch to the ground like this so now i'm just going to connect ground on my microcontroller so in this way we would solve problem now when this switch is in uh, open state uh, all of uh, stack charge are going to travel through this resistor to the ground instead of going to reading pin but this is so old fashioned way. Now we have much better solution. I'm going to remove all of this. Let me show you. And now I'm going to keep uh, one wire from pin 22 to the switch. And I'm going to connect another end of switch to the ground. And why is this? Uh, now we are going to read value on pin 22. But another pin is actually connected to the ground. That is because we are dealing with pull up resistor. So now when this uh, switch is in open state, we are going to read high. And if it's in its closed state, we are going to read low. And now I'm going to show you coding part. All right, as I said, we are using reading pin 22. And I'm going to set pin mode in here for this pin. But now instead of using input, we are going to use input pull up like this. And I'm going to initialize my serial monitor 9600s. All right. But now what is happening? So we are not dealing with pull down resistors. We are dealing with pull up. For that very same reason, second end of my switch, it's not connected uh, to 3.3 volts, but to the ground. So when switch is open, we are going to get readings high. In order to solve that problem, we are going to reverse values. So now if we read on our pin 22, value of high we are going to print low to our serial monitor else we are going to print high and of course we are going to make some pause delay of 200 milliseconds i'm going to save this code and i'm going to upload it now all right let me open my serial monitor like this you see we are getting a low on our serial monitor and if i uh, press this switch we are going to get high And of course, final part I'm going to record with my camera.
And finally, you can see my uh, monitor and my microcontroller set up with this switch. And if I press this switch, I'm going to get value high. Guys, thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned something interesting. So please like, subscribe and see ya.